Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to Raising Reality. I hope you're all doing well, hope you're all doing fine. I'm going to launch straight in with this spontaneous video. So there are massive shifts going on at the moment for humanity and there are massive shifts accelerated around particular dates and obviously we're just um, going through equinox around that kind of time and what I'm going to say is on the subject of time you have multiple realities not just multiple realities as in multi multi-dimensional reality where you are in past present and future at the same time i mean there are multiple lindies and there's a lindy now a lindy a second from now two seconds from now three seconds from now four seconds from now so it's like you're a flower and you have petals or fractals of that flower and you are also a whole bunch of the same flower. So let's say a tulip. You are a tulip flower, but you are also the whole vase or vase, the whole bunch of flowers, and you are fractals, petals of each of those flowers. There is heightened as it is happening in people now there is a heightened shift to alternate expressions of you as a reality in one second away two second away three second away rolling into that now you could say is that the same as a shift in timeline yeah that would be um along the same lines so to speak where there is a raising up almost like the name of this channel raising reality there is a raising up of one's own personal reality by rolling into a second past, two second past, three second past version of you, which are lines of your consciousness all stemming like a flower again, stemming from you. You have the advantage of not connecting or reconnecting to any negative scenario that was keeping you entrapped like in a cycle of suffering in a loop or going around the black holes i've brought videos out on the black holes you have the advantage by shifting into another expression of yourselves a second pass, two second pass, three second pass, four second pass, five second pass, or more, bigger, greater, the difference. Because there is no time. We're in the no time time, because it's all in the now. By shifting into that parallel dimensional state, one is able to be freed from former or previous entrapments entrapments so this to me is um fascinating because obviously i've understood and spoken about the concept of parallel dimensions and parallel realities but often thought of them along the line of parallel as in doing something completely different in them but this is an expression of parallel realities coexisting in the same expression of this moment where you are doing the exact same thing with just tiny minor differences in the time frame and the structure of that time frame 
which affects how you can energetically and emotionally attach to what was keeping you trapped whether you were keeping you trapped in a mindset about a relationship keeping you trapped within an illness keeping you trapped in a certain way of thinking a certain way of behaving a certain addiction keeping you trapped in certain behaviors by a shift an upgrade a raising of your own reality an upgrade going upwards in a higher expression of your consciousness or reality you are in a way presented with a clean slate your body vehicle becomes informed or of the knowing that former existing ailments former existing patterns former existing beliefs former existing mindsets need no longer govern the expression and perception of your current reality it may feel the same it may look the same but they're slightly different how may you know this has taken place sometimes it can be quite dramatic sometimes it can be a dramatic loss of time sometimes it is a subtle awareness that everything looks and seems the same but something is a little bit different slightly different and of course one will have the evidential proof in their own life and their own awareness of their reality in any shifts that take place in their relationships in their health in their belief systems in their thoughts and feelings in their living of that reality because if one habitually tries to do what they did before that shift they will find it incredibly difficult to do so their energetics are no longer aligned with it why because they've gone offline with it if your reality was like this and it's moved like this this then you can't reattach to that the only way you could reattach to another form of that is to literally reform it by your own entrenched patterns belief systems and behaviors you could reform the same set of events the same illness the same addictions the same patterns the same kind of um, say toxic relationships you could reform them by entrenched behavior like an old record stuck in the same groove you could reform it but it's like being given a zero point level playing field that's been upgraded raising reality reality having been raised within your own consciousness that is what is available to people now some people will not notice it or be subtle awareness of something being different but not quite being able to put one's finger on what others it will be far more dramatic than that a big shift in time knowing that how is that possible that 45 minutes has just been lost in one second and there seems to be that when there is a shift like this a roll into one's alternate realities a roll into one's other tulips 
it seems to be that when that happens, there is a process of time catching up that is different to the original perception of time that one rolled out of. In other words, the Lindy and her perception of time two minutes ago would be different and out of alignment with the Lindy running an identical reality with a perceptual awareness of minutes later. And there's a process of catching up between the time here and the time there. I know it sounds complicated, it's complicated to me. But I'm literally learning it as it comes out my mouth. There's a difference between the two times. Really all time is happening now in this moment, but it's also, it's almost like the body vehicle and the spatial awareness that we are almost has to catch up to that. And there's like a catch up of the condensing, the condensation, the condensing of the time difference between those realities. So we have a golden opportunity when this happens, and I don't feel it happens once, I feel it's able to happen multiple times, consciously or unconsciously. But when one is aware that they have been given a new slate, a clean slate or a new playing field, one is given the golden opportunity not to reattach, reestablish the negative toxic habitual behaviours or relationships or reattach to one's identification, self-identification with whatever it is, with one's illnesses, with one, how one feels they look, feel. It's really vitally important that one doesn't reattach just habitually to those. Otherwise, you reform it on the new expression of one's parallel reality and then to come out of that again you would have to shift from that parallel reality some might call it a timeline but you'd have to shift from that into another expression of one's parallel reality now i am sure we are getting to the point where we can do this at will and mindfully but a lot of the time what's happening now is it's happening almost um, subtly, but sometimes it can be dramatically, where people know it, there's been a shift and they can't quite account for it. But what's happened is they've gone into so many seconds faster or so many minutes ahead in a coexisting parallel reality of theirs running at the exact same time. And the advantages is that those parallels aren't all carrying the same traits that one would be better off, happier than, healthier than, free from, liberated from. Um, they are a zero point level playing field reality where one where one may shift and they look around themselves and say, but it all looks the same, but I'm still in the wheelchair, but I'm still in the relationship, but I'm still in the addiction, but I'm still in the illness, I'm still in the same scenario. But that is just one's perception. Now you could argue with me and say, but that is a physical reality. I'm physically in that marriage. I'm physically in... Um, this physical illness, I'm physically in this. That is one's perceptual awareness of one's starting point. And to that degree, that is true. But how one perceives that and acts upon that has a direct effect upon the expression of the reality one is in. If one has an undefinable illness, 
and one believes one will never be cured from that illness. One will never be cured from that illness. If one's perception is they have an undefinable illness and therefore all bets are off, and just because it hasn't been defined goes in their favour because that means it can be changed and shifted, then it can be changed and shifted. How one believes, one perceives. How one perceives, one believes. So by the shifting of this energetic, one can be liberated and free from former impediments. Former impediments, former behaviours, former beliefs, former perceptions of one's reality. If one believes one is a little old man, one will appear as a little old man. If the same age man believes that he is vibrant and healthy and sexual and intimate and strong and all things are possible, this will vibrate and show through his energy field and that same man who may be 90 years old in earth years may, may look 60 and have the energy and vibrancy and the sexual energy and the potency and the magnetics and the glow up of somebody that is fit healthy and dynamic and 60. This is just basic linear ways of explaining what is available to us now and what has always been available but now even easier in this respect because it is in our physical reality and we may accidentally roll over into these raised reality expressions of us or we may consciously do it so we can unconsciously or consciously do it and some to some of us it will be subtle changes and to others more dramatic but they are for the benefit of our consciousness. Our consciousness is raising up. Reality is raising up. Our reality, our inner reality raises up to cause an outer raising up of reality, not just ours, but for the global collective consciousness. And on that note, I will love you and leave you as always. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the support for me on this channel and me as the channel. And um, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Until then, take care. Peace out.